Salam and welcome back to another very exciting video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the best tips and tricks of Adobe Illustrator um, that would make your workflow a lot easier. These are some of the tricks that I have learned myself over the years of my design career. So without wasting any time, let's jump into it. All right, so the first trick, so I have um, three circles over here. If you select all of them, you can see that there's a red circle right inside of these two circles. So what you can do is to select that circle, naturally what you have to do is you move these circles and then select this guy. So here's what you can do to select that circle just press ctrl or command and just keep pressing the left button until you select that circle and just release the control or command and now what you have is a selected circle so you can select the path and move it outside or you can move the circle with the arrow keys so yeah pretty handy another trick um, to select that circle would be um, select all of these so now you have everything selected and now press shift key and make a square just like that don't include um, the red circle just make a square just like that and now you have selected the circle so now you can move it around to whatever you want. You can also use this method to move an object inside of a group. So let's say this is a group, let's make it a group. So right now this is just one layer. So now if you want to move this guy, you can just press control instead of taking the direct selection tool. Just press control and move it just like that and release the control when you are done so now you still have the group but you have moved the object without ungrouping them okay so the next trick is um let's say you have a clipped um item just like this and you want to put this picture inside of this picture inside of this circle so naturally what you have to do is um, right click and release clipping mask and remove this guy and put it this guy above here and select all of them and make clipping mask make sure that um, this guy is behind the shape and right click make clipping mask so let me tell you um, guys how to make that process a little bit easier than that so what you want to do is um you can select the direct selection tool and click this guy and press ctrl x to cut it out and press this image and press ctrl f to paste it inside of the clipping mask so you can move it just like that and you can click this guy and delete it and there you go you have replaced that image now you can just take the selection tool press shift key and resize it do all the fun stuff just like that okay so the next trick is uh, one of my favorites um i don't know if anybody has figured this out let's say you're making a logo and um Let's just um, make a fake logo. Just um, I'm gonna be removing this part and let's give this guy a stroke. Maybe the stroke is outside and increase the weight. And um, yeah, then the, what you can do is just write something here. Maybe. 
and give this guy some board yep None. okay so let's say you like this logo but still you want the previous artwork of um, this logo so right now what you can just do is go back yeah but then you have lost that logo in the future so hope that makes sense so if you want this logo and also the original artwork without having to make this artwork again what you can just do is um you can select all of this and you can copy it by pressing ctrl c and now without making any changes just go back just like there and what you can do is just press ctrl v to paste this guy so now you have both of them very sweet huh? all right so the next trick i think a lot of you guys have um already known about this trick but i'm gonna tell it anyway so let's say if you want to um, align this guy in the middle of this space or any space what you can do is just um, take the rectangle tool and make a rectangle just like that let's give it a color just for fun and you can select the selection tool and you can select both of them and you can click this guy so it highlights so this indicates um the object that everything else selected will be aligned to so right now this will be aligned to this guy so now what you can do is you can go to horizontal align center just click once and now you have equal space from here and here as well so now you can delete this guy okay so the next trick is um let's say you have a bunch of objects just like this on top of each other so you want to keep one of them and delete the rest so if you want to keep this yellow circle you can just select everything else just like this and delete them or what you can do is just select the yellow circle and press shift key and select everything else so right now what you have done is um, you have selected everything else excluding this yellow circle so you can just delete this guy all right so the next step is um, you can use a consistent type of um, icons by using a font so I'm using currently I'm using a font called font awesome you can download that uh, from the font awesome website i will throw a link in the description so basically what you have to do is just go to font awesome from here font awesome i'm gonna take the brand and i'm gonna type here maybe youtube so it will give you youtube logo same way like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram so it's a quick way to get icons instead of um, going to Google and searching for them all right guys I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you did uh, please give a like and comment down below what I should be making next in my next video yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video hopefully until then salam. Asking for a sign from you Cause I'm so broke inside I'm feeling lost This world has me so confused All these nights I'm praying I